All right, we're over here at the Alter G, and Hannah is going to demo what it's like to walk and run in the Alter G treadmill. Um, the Alter G treadmill um, is a treadmill that actually fills up with air surrounding the person's lower body. Um, and it, in doing that, it simulates a reduction in gravity um, and reducing a person's body weight. So you have these fancy pants here that you can zip yourself into the treadmill um, so air can't escape. Um, and then uh, we'll show you how it blows up with air um, around Hannah. But this was originally developed for the opposite idea. So it was originally developed to increase a person's body weight. Um, so why would that be useful? Well, for a person who is somewhere where there's a reduction in gravity for an extended period of time, uh, so in space, uh, this could be a really helpful device to help uh, maintain bone density and general health of people. So it was first invented by scientists at NASA for that purpose and for astronauts to use in space. But here on Earth, um, it didn't end up being a big seller, so now it's actually used for the opposite reason, which is uh, reducing a person's body weight. So that's really helpful for athletes who are recovering from an injury and want to start running again, uh, but may um, want to start out with a lower body weight so they can just kind of get back into um, exercising and running again gradually and gradually increase uh, the body weight that they're applying to their bones and joints when running. It's also really helpful for endurance athletes who want to run a lot of miles or for long periods of time but without that associated joint loading, heavy joint loading for extended periods of time. And so now uh, Hannah is going to hop on the treadmill to demonstrate um, what it is like. Let's do it. And the first thing that will happen is the chamber will blow up with air to calibrate um, and it's able to uh, weigh Hannah and start to expand to see how much air is needed to lift her entire body weight um, up off the treadmill. So Hannah's gonna start out with her full body weight walking on the treadmill. And she's going to start to increase the speed that she's walking at until she's right at the point where she's, uh, she's still walking, but not almost about to run. She's about to run, um, but hasn't, doesn't have that flight phase in her gait yet. And so as we now start to decrease the body weight of her um, on the treadmill, what will happen um, to her gait as her body weight decreases? So to think about that, we can think of Froude's number and the, the Froude equation, which is uh, V squared over GL. And so we're reducing G in that equation. And as G decreases, the Froude number will increase. So what does that mean? Well, we know that walking is um, a food number that's less than one. Um, but as the, in, in uh, normal gravity setting, um, but as we're increasing the, group, the food number, that means the walk to run transition will actually happen sooner, so at a slower um, speed. So now you'll see Hannah is actually in running. You see that she's in a, a flight phase now, has a flight phase now. Well, thanks, Hannah. <laughs> I think one of the hardest parts of being in this treadmill is the part where you step out of it and realize how much weight you're actually putting on your body um, all the time. I think sometimes when you step out, you almost just want to <laughs> collapse. You feel so heavy. Um, but yeah, that was an excellent demo.